Welcome, Tony. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Uh, what was your last project and where? It was uh, last month and it was in Italy, in uh, the south part of Italy. And um, the place was really great from nature, according to the nature and according to the organizers that uh, hold the whole project there. What was the topic of the project? Uh, was it interesting for you? Yes, it was interesting. We were three delegations and it was about development of rural areas. That's why it was in south of Italy, because it's not that well developed mm -hmm. uh, comparing to the north part of the country. And uh, we thought many new things about developing a business plan. Mm -hmm. This was the first time that I experienced with business plan and mm -hmm. analyzing um, ideas and um, um, present, presented them in front of a um, jury mm -hmm. and uh, we had one main task that uh, a jury should have uh, chosen one of the ideas that we presented to, to give us like money for our business plan but it was simulation of course. What did you take back with you from this experience? Oh, I didn't take any material things. Mm -hmm. I take only memories and the mm -hmm. friendships that I made there with the people. Mm -hmm. nice. sure. Thank yes. you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. How far have you got to know this uh, program Erasmus Plus? How many projects have you been to? I started three years ago and I have been to six projects now. Uh, I've been only to youth exchanges. Uh, that's why I know uh, much information about this type of events that are organized by Erasmus Plus program. But uh, uh, this month I will attend. I'm going to attend a project K2 project in um, in Spain, and that is related to the next level of Erasmus Plus training courses. And I'm interested in how to. Um, manage the, the the topic and how to manage the team and to operate on one business idea for example because this is the topic of the k2 project that yeah. sounds very inspiring but why did it take you three years to to begin to uh to begin to get uh involved in the next level of erasmus plus uh that that's why because i didn't want to go to training courses until now because I wanted to develop my skills and my personal skills from youth exchanges. And youth exchanges, uh, the six ones that I attended, really developed my um, um, cooperative skills on the first place and uh, my uh, language skills and uh, like uh, expressing my opinion in front of an audience because this is the most important thing about one group of young people and when a problem is um, located in this group it should be solved and if you don't uh, speak your mind the problem will not get uh, the aspects that you w would like to one last question how how has this experience that you just told me about helped you in your professional life? I'm still a student and actually uh, I didn't use the certificates for these um, soft skills that I gained. I didn't use them properly because uh, I didn't, um, I haven't applied for a proper job until now. I hope that they will help me and I will find um, easily a job that uh, will provide me um, um, an opportunity to build a healthy environment of working because uh, these soft skills only uh, developed uh, like the cooperation in, inside the university that I go but I don't know if they will be that helpful in the future for your job. I will see, I hope. <laughs>